Thank you for joining us again. In this video, we are going to add parts to our design library and create new parts. First, I'm going to copy parts from an existing library. Go to File and Open. Use this path to access the default libraries provided in Capture. I'm going to open the CapSim library. If you right-click on the library, you can dock the window to different locations on your screen. I'm going to select Ground, Power, and Title Block 3. To select multiple items, just hold down the Control button and click. I'm going to use Control c to copy. Back in our design, right-click on the library and select Paste. You can rename an item by right-clicking and select Rename. To create a new part in your library, right-click and select New Part. I'm going to name the part USB Micro B, set the prefix as X, and the PCB footprint as USB Micro B. Click OK. You can move text and adjust the boundary box by clicking and dragging. I'm going to place a rectangle for our part. Choose Place and Rectangle. Click and drag to draw the rectangle. Right click and choose End Mode. Next, I'm going to add the pins. Go to Place and Pin. Under Name and Number, I'm going to sign Ground. For the shape, I'm going to select Short, and for the type, I'm going to select Input. Select OK, and click to Place. Right-click and select Edit Properties. I'm going to add the name and number for the next pin and keep the shape and type the same. I'm going to continue this process for all of my pins. For these next pins, I'm going to set the shape as zero length and the type as bidirectional. When the pin ends in a number, the next pin placed will be sequential. When finished, right click and end mode. I don't want the pin name and number to appear on my part. Go to Options and Part Properties. Under Pin Name Visible, select False. Click OK. I can move and edit the text. To rotate, right-click and select Rotate. To assign a value, either right-click and edit properties or double-click on the text. Save and close the part. The part is now visible in the design library. If there is a part that is complicated or you don't have time to create, try using Ultra Librarian. Ultra Librarian provides access to millions of pre-built components and part data, enabling you to make the best component choices on your next design. Ultra Librarian can be accessed directly through ORCAD Capture. Go to Accessories and Ultra Librarian. Log in with your information to begin. Search for a part you would like to use. Ultra Librarian shows you a preview of the symbol, footprint, and 3D model. Click on the arrow next to Preview and select Download. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to only download the ORCID Capture symbol. However, you can also download the PCB footprint and 3D model. Save the generated library file. Going back to ORCAD Capture, open the newly created library. Copy and paste the part into your library. Right click to rename the part. Double click the part to edit. The part was generated with a functional pin layout. You can move pins and edit text. Save and close the part. To view the paths where your Ultra Librarian parts will be stored, 
Select Edit Download Settings in Ultra Librarian. Here you can set the paths for your symbols, footprints, pad stacks, and 3D models. You can also set your preferences for functional or sequential pin layout and footprint units. Join us in the next video where we will search in the default libraries and place parts.